In these trying economic times, not everyone is looking for 540 horsepower, but Ford's special vehicle team is betting some people are, so it has pulled out all the stops to make the upcoming 2010 Shelby GT500 more powerful than ever. The top version of the iconic Mustang will deliver a staggering 510 foot-pounds of torque, while downforce has been increased and drag reduced, meaning it's a muscle car of muscle cars. The Shelby supercharged and intercooled 5.4-liter dual overhead cam V8 engine sucks in refreshingly cold air through a, what else, cold air intake that feeds directly into the air box. To maximize the flow of cold air, Ford engineers found they had to move the Cobra Snake badge to the other side of the grill. And to gain additional airflow, Ford went to an open element air induction system that features a conical air filter instead of a flat panel closed system to reduce air restriction. Even the car's aluminum power dome hood is part of the scheme. It not only adds more than a touch of nostalgia to the Shelby's appearance, it also helps pull superheated air from the engine compartment. In the interest of sanity, new gearbox enhancements plus a new rear axle ratio mean the 2010 Shelby GT500 will provide better highway fuel efficiency but at the same time deliver improved acceleration performance. The twin disc clutch on the six-speed manual transmission has been significantly upgraded, improving drivability. The discs on the car are larger and made of copper and fiberglass to make them more robust. Largely because of the improved transmission, the 2010 model is expected to offer customers improved straight-line acceleration plus fuel savings when cruising on the highway in the top gears. Gears 1 through 4 remain the same as before, but the 5th and 6th gears are both revised so that the 2010 version will turn lower engine revolutions in those gears to deliver improved fuel efficiency. The new final drive ratio enables the improved acceleration in lower gears while complementing the revised 5th and 6th gear ratios. While some live for supercharger wine, it's been toned down in the 2010 model by placing a patented resonator between the air filter and engine throttle body. Driving dynamics are also improved thanks to SVT's chassis tuning that is complemented by new Goodyear F1 supercar tires and forged aluminum wheels. The wheels are 19-inch on the coupe and 18-inch on the convertible. The 19-inch wheels are milled on both sides with curved spokes that accentuate the offset and width of the tires. The 2010 Shelby GT500 features advanced track, Ford's stability control system, but with several options designed to please drivers who want to limit electronic intrusion into their driving styles. The default on mode is designed for everyday driving, and a sport mode changes up the assist for those wanting to put the GT500 to more aggressive use. The system also can be turned off completely, although the anti-lock brake system and other active safety systems remain ready to protect drivers against themselves. The new model also features aggressive new exterior design features with new functional details. Among them are the hood extractor to remove heat from the engine and a so-called gurney flap spoiler to tune rear downforce. The lower drag rear spoiler is raked back aggressively to minimize drag, while the integrated gurney flap provides the downforce. Inside the GT500 is high lux, yet in keeping with the fact that it's a Mustang. The interior offers genuine materials such as real leather in all seats, real aluminum on the instrument panel, and Alcantara inserts on the seats and steering wheel. The aluminum finished panels have a dimensional dimpled texture pattern that Ford says is inspired by racing clutch plates, braided hoses, and cross-drilled racing brake rotors. In all, it's an impressive package that proves performance cars haven't vanished from the earth. The 2010 Shelby GT500 will be in dealer showrooms this spring. And please join us right here at KBB.com for more videos.